Hello students, today we are going to begin with the 7th chapter of English grammar that is homophones and homonyms. So, firstly we are going to begin with homophones. So, what are homophones? Homophones are the words that sound alike but are spelled differently and have different meanings are called homophones. That means words which have same pronunciation but have different meanings. For example, heel and heel. So here, first heel means H double E L means the back of one's foot. That means the heel of the sandal. Whereas H E A L means that is heel means to become healthy again means to recover one's health so now for more clarification we are going to see an exercise based on homophones so fill in the blanks with correct words from the pairs given in the bracket so first one is since mr malhotra stays by the side of dash that is stay stays by the side of C. He can dash it all the day. He can see it all the day. Seema became dash that is pale that is yellow and weak after his sickness. She could not even pick up a small dash of water. So that is pail of water. The thief opened the dash almira to dash the jewelry. So, the thief opened steel almira to steal the jewelry. If you don't apply the car dash on time, the tail light of the car ahead may dash. So, if you don't apply the car brake, on time, the tail light of the car ahead may break. Next one. As it began to dash heavily, the rider healed the dash tightly. As it began to rain heavily, the rider held the rain tightly. The dash came all the way. To the edge of the forest looking for its dash friend the rabbit so the deer came all the way to the edge of the forest looking for its deer friend the rabbit dash school will end in one dash so a uh, School will over in one hour. I will buy the latest book written by Ruskin Bond. Dash your name in the top. Dash hand corner of the sheet, said the teacher. So, write your name in the top right hand corner of the sheet said the teacher the naughty boy dashed the dash whistle and disturbed the gathering so the naughty boy blew the blue whistle and disturbed the gathering so i hope the concept of homophones is clear. Now, in next video, we are going to learn about homonyms.